Good evening, good evening, good evening, YouTube family and friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. So, yeah, I first want to start off, you know, I want to thank my subscribers, old and new. Thank y'all very much for still rocking with me. New subscribers, thank y'all very much for subscribing to my channel. I want to really thank you guys from a genuine place in my heart. Okay, so... If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel as you come in to view the content. Just hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button as you come in to view the content. And also, if you, um, if you, oh my God, I don't forgot what I was going to say. Uh, oh, comment in the comment section down below. Okay, just comment in the comment section down below. Whew. That's a lot to say, y'all. There was a lot to say. Y'all, y'all just know that I'm 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 just as look. I'm not I'm, I'm the type of person I'm just gonna say whatever I say, the way I say it, the way it come out of my mouth. I'm not trying to act like I'm somebody else, you know. I'm not no news reporter, I'm not no um I, you know, this this just me. Everything that I say is just me. I'm I'm speaking it the way I'm I'm gonna speak it. I'm not trying to learn no different kind of language, no different kind of English. I'm I'm just talking, okay. I'm I'm a country girl, baby. I came straight up out of Louisiana, raised in Las Vegas, and you know I'm I'm just country. So I ain't trying to be nobody else, y'all. I'm not trying to talk like nobody else. I'm not. Look, this this is it, okay. I, I'm saying that for a reason, for whoever watching and got anything to say, because I'm, hey, I ain't trying to be nobody else. I'm just being me. Okay? So, anyway, y'all, um, this story going to be about a young lady. Her name is Ella Goody, y'all. So, I want to also want to say, y'all be careful. Y'all be careful out there with, with any kind of men. I don't care if you're in a relationship with them or not any kind of man okay any kind of man stop being with these men by yourself you know don't be with these men by yourself i don't care who they are you got men around here killing their own daughters you got men around here killing their sisters killing their mothers killing their wives so y'all be careful out there my eyes is burning y'all because i'm so sleepy y'all i don't know why i try, set up to try to do this story this late at night well why i waited to do this story this late at night. But anyway, y'all. Um, so, yeah. So, we have Ella Goody. Ella Goody, 33 years old. She mother of two. She has a, a little boy and a little girl. Y'all. Um, so, she was a Lyft driver. Uh, yeah, she was she was a Lyft driver, y'all. But she left Lafayette on March 9th. She was last. That's, that's when she was last seen. She left Lafayette. Louisiana on March 9, 2022. Um, and she was she to live she was live driving this person to Houston, Texas. Okay, from Louisiana to Houston, Texas. Something I wouldn't have never did. I wouldn't have never did. I don't even want to take nobody 30 minutes somewhere. So I know damn well I wouldn't have drove them all the way to uh Houston, Texas. So, actually, y'all, her Lyft account, she used to be a share rider, a share driver, I mean, um, she used to work with the Lyft people, but her account was suspended. So, she took it up on herself to start her own little Lyft, Lyft uh, driver job or whatever, you know, to operate the, her own business to drive people, you know, um, on her own to wherever she wanted to um, drop them to. So, as y'all already know that this is not safe. You know what I'm saying? To, for her to store, store her own lift um, business, it's really not safe because now you don't have anybody, you don't have to lift people to actually track um who the person is that's um you know that that want the ride who the person is that um 
you know, like where, where are they going? Where 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 are they getting picked up from? Where are you dropping them off at? There's no way to keep track of that. So actually that's not safe now. That's a good business to get into. You know, if you just want to make some money on the side or whatever, but it's not safe, you know, it's not safe. Now, what probably could happen is if you share your location with somebody. You know, share your location with somebody. Give the people the, the information. You know, give, give someone the information, family members or whomever, which is, it's just not safe. I don't care how you do it, how you do it. But if you do want to do something like that, make sure you share your location with somebody. Get the people the people name or whatever, you know. Um all of that, all of that. Just do anything to where you can be safe. You know what I'm saying? Like you cover yourself, you just be safe. <sighs> but if you're not with the company, there's no way for them to track anything about who you're picking up. You know, who the customer is that you're picking up. Where you dropping that person off at? Where you picking them up at? What time you drop them off? What time you pick them up? There's no way that they can keep track of that, okay? So before um, she left to go to Texas, she had spoke with her daughters. You know what I'm saying? And she has, I mean, she spoke with her kids and told her kids that she was going to uh, be back by the time they get out of school. You know, she told them that she was going to be back before she got out of school. So she had spoken with them earlier. Earlier uh, on the night. Okay. And she had spoken with family and friends. You know to let them know. That she was going to drop someone off in Houston, Texas. Okay. So at the time. She sh she should have. Re at the time that she should have returned home. Uh, the She had not. You know. She, they, they, her family started calling, calling her phone and stuff, and they couldn't get her. They couldn't get her on the phone. They, it was no answer. So her family started getting worried. You know, they put out a missing report. They put out a missing person on her. So her car had been caught on traffic. You know, once she put the, the her family put the missing person in, you know, once the police and stuff got involved, they checked the, you know, the uh, the traffic the traffic cameras whatever and they did see her car going to um her, her car was caught on the camera headed to texas um on march 9 2022 so and then her car was spotted headed back to louisiana but she never came home you know her, her car was found back in found spotted back in Louisiana, but she never came home. So no one had heard from her. No one had saw her, you know. So they were worried, like, okay, well, if her car was headed this way, where is she? She haven't came and checked on her kids. She haven't called family. She ain't got in contact with nobody. You know, nobody has still seen her. So then her car was actually caught back on camera later, headed back to Dallas, headed, headed back to Texas. Okay, so, but when her car came back, okay, during the time her car came back to Lafayette, the windows were rolled up, you know what I'm saying, and her windows are tinted. So, they had no idea who was driving her car. They don't know if she was driving the car, headed back to um, Louisiana, back, back to Lafayette, Louisiana, or if it was someone else driving the car. They couldn't see in the car. But they say they would, the, the cameras did show it on on the steering wheel, like one arm on the steering wheel, but they still couldn't tell whose arm it was, whether it was male, female, whatever, you know, they couldn't tell, <sighs> excuse me, y'all, they couldn't tell whose arm it was, okay, so that was when the car was headed back to Louisiana, the car then was caught on the traffic camera heading back, headed back to Texas. So the car was headed back to Texas, okay? So then, um, yeah, so they don't know who was in the car during the time going back to Louisiana or going back to Texas. They don't know who, who was in the car. 
So actually, her car was found. I, it, it's saying um, Missouri. But I don't know if it was Missouri because then it a one minute say her car was found on the north side of Dallas. I don't know. Then they said Missouri. So I guess he, you know, her car was found in Missouri or whatever. So, so now there, there is doing, doing, um, doing all of this, you know, tracking her car, you know, looking for her and all of that. There is a person of interest. Okay. The person of interest name is Brandon Francisco. Brandon Francisco was last. He was the last person to come in contact with Ella Goody. With Ella Goody, he was the last person. She she offered to take him to Houston, Texas. Okay, so he has, he has been known to be in Lafayette. At the same time that Ella Goody was in Lafayette, which was on March 9, 2022, he had been known to be in Texas. He has connections in Texas, and Goody's car was found in, like I say, Missouri. So, so was Brandon Francisco. He was also found and picked up and arrested in, um... In Missouri, okay. So, all of the, these connections, the going, the coming from Lafayette, going to uh, Texas, coming from Texas, going back to Lafayette, and then Missouri. All of these um, connections fitted uh, Brandon Francisco because he had connections in all of these same places, and then. So, her car was found in Missouri, and so was Brandon Francisco. Now, how did her car get all the way in Missouri? Brandon Francisco was the person that she brought from Lafayette. Louis gave a lift ride from Lafayette to Texas. So, all of a sudden, uh, her car is being found in uh, Texas, I mean, in Missouri, Brandon Francisco was found in Missouri. So, everything that left Lafayette, Louisiana was found in Missouri. Everybody and everything except for Ella Goody. Ella Goody. So, Brandon Francisco had a warrant in Louisiana for attempt second degree murder. He was supposed to appear in court the exact same day. That Ella Gooding gave him a ride to Houston, Texas, which was March 9, 2022. He had a court date. A court. He was supposed to be in court that same day. So, Brandon Francisco is a very dangerous person. This is why I say, y'all, y'all don't look. Be careful with these men, y'all. Be careful with these men. I don't care who they are. Yeah, I'm so sleepy. I don't care who they are, y'all be careful with them, okay? Y'all be careful with these men. Y'all be careful with these men, especially when you really don't know them. Whether you get in a relationship with them or whether you... Oh, my God. And, and then with being an Uber and Lyft driver, that is so dangerous to be doing by yourself with a man. That's dangerous. So, anyway... Brandon Francisco, he's very dangerous. Very dangerous. So all we could do at this time is pray that Ella Goody is alive and well. And found. Let's pray that she is found um, alive. Let's pray that she is found alive. Brandon Francisco, these are his charges, y'all. These are his criminal charges. Attempt murder. Conspiracy to commit first degree murder. Armed robbery. Possession of a stolen firearm. Um, I don't know what I put right there. Uh, oh, convicted of rape. Convicted of rape. Attempt second degree murder. 
unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, obstruction of justice. Those are his criminal charges. Those are his criminal charges. Again, I'm going to say attempt murder, conspiracy to commit first degree murder, armed robbery, possession of stolen firearm, convicted of rape, attempt Attempt second degree murder, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, obstruction of justice. Those are his criminal records. So I'm going to let you guys hear, hear this. Hold on. Belonging to missing shot woman Ella Goody was found today. Goody herself is still missing. The discovery of her vehicle comes three weeks after her family first reported her missing on March 9th. News since Britt LaFonso, who has been investigating the story from the very beginning, tells us where her vehicle was discovered and how police hope it could lead to crucial evidence in this case. Britt. Darla Gooden's vehicle was found this morning in St. Joseph, Missouri, the same city that the person of interest in her disappearance was located and arrested just last week. As police continue to question that person of interest, they say the next step in this case is to find any physical evidence that may be with his vehicle, ultimately leading them to find her. I mean, I continue to look through that whole vehicle on a more deeper level, other than just like looking at it and confirm, yeah, that's it. Okay, what else can you see? If there's, you know, fibers and carpet, um, is there something within the fabric on there, you know, maybe we can get a fingerprint off the, off of the upholstery. Off a window or anything like that. So we really continue to go through that whole vehicle um, inside and out. Louisiana State Trooper Derek Senegal says they hope any physical evidence they find in Goody's vehicle could help them piece together what happened in the time between March 9th when Goody allegedly left Lafayette and Brandon Francisco and now. The main question how did Francisco and Goody's vehicle both end up in Missouri without her? And where is she now? All these things have to be put together and continue digging to figure out you know, what's going on and how can we piece everything together this coming up. If there is or could be or you know, maybe there is someone else involved with this thing. So we just have to make sure that we continue to look and not just say, hey, we're good, we found it and just and just close the case. We just can't do it. So we only continue looking to exhaust every effort that we have for it. Super Senegal says there's still a lot of focus on Brandon Francisco. The person believed to have left and seen with Goody, with Francisco in custody and Goody's vehicle found, police say they hope they can narrow down where Goody may be. I mean, a vehicle is just, a, just an object, just a thing, but we'd rather find a person wherever she's at. Of course, like I said, we find a vehicle that's that's good on, on the investigation part, and you know, we just have to continue with that. I think sometimes those um, the evidence or clues lead to other things, you know, let's say maybe because we lose her and figure out where she is. Allegheny's mom and brother are now also speaking out about the investigation into her disappearance and public comments on social media. We're asking people to stop publicly accusing people of being involved in Ella's disappearance. Multiple photos, videos, and screenshots have been circulating on social media, and they say it is not helping the investigation. They've asked the Village 337 to speak on their behalf. The family is full right now with emotion, uh, trying to understand these new developments and, you know, what they mean or what they could mean. Um, the family is still hopeful that Ella is still alive, but right now it, they uh, are worried that all of these interactions, specifically with these uh, being reported to the FBI, reported to the Scott Police, is kind of getting in the way of the investigation that's taking place. If you have any information about Ellen Goody's whereabouts, you're encouraged to call the Louisiana State Police. Brett Lafosso, KWS News 10. Thank you, Brett. As we've mentioned, Brandon Francisco is believed to be the last person to see Ella Goody before she went missing on March 9th. Reports show in 2008, Francisco was convicted of statutory rape and attempted second-degree murder. Later in 2018, he was charged with attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, armed robbery, unlawful use of a movable, and obstruction of justice. He was set to appear in court for these charges the day Ellen Goody went missing, though he failed to show up. Francisco 
will have his second bond hearing Monday in Missouri. At the time, he is fighting expedition back to Louisiana. A family vacation. So, yeah. Anyway, these are, uh, this is pictures of Fernando, I mean, Brandon Francisco. <laughs> This is a photo of Brandon Francisco. Um, different picture times because he looks sort of different, but those are pictures of him. This picture, photo of Ella Goody, 33 year old Ella Goody. She has two children, a little boy and a little girl. Another picture of Ella Goody, 33-year-old mother of two, who was, um, who gave up, gave Brandon Francisco a ride from, you know, a lift ride from Lafayette, Louisiana to Houston, Texas, and she has not been seen or heard from, but her car has been shown, um, going back and forth from Louisiana to Texas, back and forth, and then found in uh, St. Louis, I mean, what is it, St. Joseph, Missouri, and uh, so was Brandon Francisco. He was also found and picked up and arrested in St. Joseph, uh, Missouri. But we still have not seen or heard from Miss Ella Goody. Goody. We still have not heard from or seen Miss Ella Goody. And you got, she's giving Brandon Francisco a ride from Louisiana all the way to Texas with this criminal background. She was alone by herself, taking him to Houston, Texas, with these charges. Again, attempt murder, conspiracy to commit first degree murder, armed robbery, possession of stolen firearm, convicted of rape, attempt second degree murder, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, obstruction of justice. That's a dangerous man to be Somewhere by yourself. That means he would risk and do anything. He would take a chance to do anything. Anything. So. Anyway y'all. That's, that's all I have for you guys tonight. I am so sleepy. I got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. To get ready for work. So I will see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this story. Hope you guys got something from this story, you know. Um, so anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Thank y'all so much for rocking with me. Thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys for viewing this content. Thank you guys for hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for hitting the notification bell. Thank you for coming in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for hitting the like button. Okay. Thank you guys from the genuine place in my heart. Okay. So I will see you guys when I come back with another story. Y'all good night and y'all stay safe. Y'all stay aware, baby. Stay aware. Okay. Aware of your surroundings. Good night. Bye.